Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan. Uh, in my video, I do hito regoto, which means talking to myself. And then today I'm talking about I've been sober in the last six months. I think which is really the longest in my life that I haven't drunk any alcohol at all. And which I'm not really surprised, but that really makes a lot of my friends surprised because uh, if you know me personally, or maybe you watched some of my videos that I posted in 2021 or 22. Yeah, 22, yeah, yeah, 22 as well. Uh, you, 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 you can see how much I love drinking sake and everything. And that kind of person like me, I don't, that doesn't drink alcohol for six months. Uh, it, it's a big surprise. So I just want to share the experience and how I feel about it. And then um, what do I think why this is happening to me? So I haven't drink any alcohol uh, because first of all, when I have started to taking uh, antidepressant, which is the uh, Effexor uh, Venlafaxine, and also like sleeping pills to deal with my sleep issues, um, doctors specifically told me that do not drink alcohol. And I did some research and everything. It's just simply alcohol. It just doesn't go well, go well with uh, antidepressants and then sleeping pills. And I really, really wanted to get better. And I really want to focus on my recovery and health. And then I really wanted to establish the baseline to judge what can work on me, what cannot work on me to keep making progress. So I just remove alcohol consumption from my life completely. And also uh, one of the side effects of taking uh, effects on the venlafaxine. vaccine I lost my appetite completely, especially in the first two weeks uh, of the effects sir, and venlafaxine. And then even my, 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 my body got used to it, adjusted to venlafaxine and then effects sir. And then I feel hungry and everything, but something is different. I personally feel that uh, I'm not sensitive to the taste of anything that much compared to before, which puts me in a situation that even I eat um, very tasty, delicious food, I don't really have that much excitement. It doesn't mean that those food a bad or any less than what it is uh, compared to before. It, it's just that I think the medication has done something to my brain to make me less sensitive to those tastes in more details way so that I don't really get to enjoy the cuisine fully. So even though I have an appetite now, I don't, I'm not really craving for any uh, fancy, um, creative cuisines. Uh, if anything, um, food becomes something that gives me energy. It sounds really sad, but that's just the way it is. And I don't drink alcohol without any food except for the um, videos that I posted before. So since I'm not picky about the food anymore, it just automatically, I don't drink. So the habit of drinking alcohol really gets kind of removed naturally from my life. And I don't have any craving for alcohol and I'm completely happy and satisfied with life without any alcohol. I'm glad that I can enjoy coffee. <laughs> there was a time that I couldn't drink coffee 
but now I drink coffee, so which is a good thing. I'm very happy about it. So my friends are really surprised, and then time to time they ask me, "Let's you know go drink," but instead I ask them, uh, "Can we go to、um, coffee?" And they understand, so we catch up and then drink coffee, or like even we go to dinner. I only drink oolong tea, and then they drink alcohol. Or some of them feel like if I drink oolong tea, they don't want to drink <laughs> because they don't want to get drunk when I'm sober. So that's what it is. So one good thing that. I get out of this entire situation is that I found out that is I'm now alcoholic, and but regardless the no alcohol consumptions, unfortunately my liver has been damaged due to the、um, those medications that I've been taking. That was very unfortunate and a very surprising and ironic situations because. I never ever get the results by my blood. Indicates that any damages in my liver, even back then when I was drinking so much alcohol, or maybe the accumulation. I think it just simply didn't show it. But when I was drinking, it's already damaging the、uh, liver. And by the time I stop drinking and I start taking the medications, it just As up on, and then maybe I have the liver damaged. That could be the case. So nothing is nothing is conclusive.、Um, however, it's just that I don't drink anymore. I don't drink alcohol at all in the last six months, and I don't think I'm gonna drink alcohol anytime soon because I just don't simply feel like drinking any alcohol. If anything. I want to drink black coffee with good, delicious tiramisu. So, if you know any good cafe, please let me know. <laughs> so, here's the thing、um, that really indicates, at least to my perspective, that if you can drink and enjoy, that means you're healthy. So, please enjoy it, but don't drink so much. Always look after yourself. If you drink too much, it will eventually hurt your health, and you don't want to get to that point. So please drink socially, responsibly, and then maybe you want to drink once or twice a week. And when you drink, not too much, because let's say if something happens to us, it's already happening to me. And we have to go through some kind of treatments with medications, or anything that we will put in our body. We need healthy liver or internal organs to maximize the benefits of getting those treatments. On top of being able to do that、uh, treatment, because I am at this. Situation that if my liver situation has not gotten better, then I might have to suspend one of the treatments because even though it's my body is responding to it well, but it's damaging my body as well. So, as always, look after yourself. Be responsible for your health. Which means be re- you become responsible for other people, and which exactly what we all should do. So I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, please take care of yourself. For now, Johnny, bye, bye.